here we go. Hi, I haven't seen you for a little while. Been, um, had pneumonia, you know. Sort of slows you down somewhat, that does actually. And um, this is my one of my first times out. Meanwhile, whilst I was ill, this came through the post uh, after waiting six months for it from China. It's a, a breakdown and it says 70 pounds. Pull, 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 um, bit 28, 28 inches. And we have now we can see the, the, the difference in size between a lot. My longbow, this is now a, this is a longbow. Right, I'm this is probably about five foot six, which would be uh, 66 inches with strung. And this one is probably about 40 in, 44 inches, something like that. Quite short, it's a short inches, short one. Um, this is supposed to be 70 pounds, but um, I'm pulling it, it feels a bit heavier. Uh, a friend of mine yesterday who came, another archer friend, came and had a go with it yesterday. And he said, no way is that 70 pounds. He said, I pulled 70 pounds all day long. He said, this is... He said that's near 80, 85 pounds. So we're going to measure this later on and see how how it is and how much it is. Um, this one is about 70 pounds. Um, it does feel, this one does feel a little bit easier to pull. Um, but that's not to say, I have pulled this one. This is my first pull. So I'm just going to warm up on the small bow. And then I will come back and give you a review of this larger bow, which is quite a, I think it's quite a bargain actually. It comes out at about 55 quid. Well, this one did. I think they're a bit more expensive now. Um, I think they decided to up the price a bit. Um, company is called Alibo. And they seem quite nice, actually. Um, they're Chinese, and I sort of like contacted them. And said, um, "I bought, I ordered a bow off you, and it didn't come. I'm still waiting for it." And they were most apologetic, and they said they'd lost my order. <laughs> which, having a company that does um, um, mail order, which I do, um, it does happen. So I was not sort of whoa, 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 with them. I was sort of like a bit sort of like, oh, okay, as long as we sort it out, that's fine. And they sent me an extra spare string just to sort of like placate me. But I will review it in a little while. Yes, well, here we go. Again. Yeah. Uh, it's a long time since I shot a longbow, really. Uh, it's a completely different feel to a short bow. And I'm still doing it like a short bow, actually. But it shoots all right. That nailed that one. That's 25 yards. I mean, that's not a, 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 a long shot. But it does shoot all right. I warmed up on the short bow just before this, actually. So... Uh, oh, a bit low. Uh, Mind you, these arrows are all different again, like so. You can't get the consistency. If you've got different arrows all the time, some of the consistency does take a drop sometimes. But that's better. Yes. So. I don't think I'd want too much lighter. This is. I'm gonna, I think this one will probably pull. I saw one by Armin Himmer who did a, a review on the um, 50 pound or 45 pound one of these. 
and he said it pulled to 31 inches and it went up to sort of like 65 pounds or something like that. I think this one will pull to probably about the same length and will probably go up to about 85 pounds. Um, it does feel slightly heavy for a 70 pound bow, but um, we'll, we, I mean, I've got a, I've got a thing in my thing and I can take it down to the tiller down in my workshop and I'll just do a test on it and see what I see what it comes out at. But for, for the money, this is ridiculous. You know, it's Ali bow. Um, it, it breaks down into two parts, right? Okay, um, I'm, I'll break it down later on and show you. Actually, I'll give you a demo at the end of this film of what it looks like. It's um, a bit of a bitch to string for me, actually, to be quite honest. I haven't got a string or anything like that. So, um, but the thing about being sort of like plastic and glass, it doesn't sort of like need to be de-strung every time, de-strung every time. They, you know, like this thing is... <laughs> I've strung this thing probably about or well, getting on for 10 months ago now and it hasn't been de-strung since and it hasn't lost an iota on it and that shot probably about 10,000 arrows by now. Anyway, the breakdown longbow from Alibow, um, very, very good value for money. Uh, you know, it's... Um, all right, I quite like it. I'm going to take it over the field someday in a couple of days' time and um, and see what it does on the distance shooting and things like that. But I should imagine it's pretty, pretty good. Um, looking at the penetration that we're getting um, off of this bow, I mean, when I look at this one here, that's gone... If you look at the back, that's gone through that far. Um, the the can obviously slowed it down, except for let's have a look at that one. That one's come through there, and that one's gone through. And no, so so the can did slow it down a little bit, but the penetration looks to be quite sub substantial. That I mean, that's not bad for the first shot. Shots off at over twenty five yards. I mean, I have shot better, but um, not too bad. And. Um, just comparing penetration this one actually I've tried to pull out it was like that it's it was about there that's a 250 that's a 500 500 this is a wooden arrow that's a cheap wooden arrow this is um the 500 spine thing off the short bow one two three off the short bow one one two three off the long bow the long bow did have better penetration that was shot from about 20 yards even if I say so, so myself, it's probably the best grouping I've done all day. Cheers.